Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be a project use it up introduction for the springtime. I'm so excited that it is finally spring and um, I'm honestly not super excited about the warmer weather. Um, it's already like 80s here in Houston, so not super excited about that, but I am happy for some bright sunshiny days ahead of us and I am excited to start using some spring scents. Um, I actually have quite a few things that I'm still working on finishing up from winter. I will talk about that in a little bit, but I have a lot of empties to show you guys and they're all sitting over here. I have everything like categorized around me. This is, you guys are set up on our dresser and I have new products. I have products I'm keeping in the project. I have products I'm getting out of the project and I have uh, used up products on the bed and um, eventually there will be art behind me here we're working on that but for now you get a blank canvas I'm sorry um, but if you have any ideas let me know I was thinking getting two nice lamps on our bedside tables and then like two big pieces of art or like three pieces of art I feel like one would just not be enough let me know your thoughts and if you know a good place to get art I was thinking Ikea because we have one near us so yeah, let me know. Anyways, let's start with some full-size stuff. I did finish off two full-size items. You guys know Coconut Mint Drop was really close to being finished up in the last um, update for winter, and I did finish it. It was super quick to finish because it was honestly already even cut open. It was almost done. But the scent notes on this are White Coconut, Ice Peppermint, and Winter Musk. I love the scent. I'm really sad they did not bring it back last year but they need to bring it back this year and next I did finish off a white pumpkin and chai I have the progress lines it was right here whenever I last updated you guys like in the middle of February so I did finish this off super quick and it was really good I really need to focus on using my fall products during fall and finishing them because for me it's really hard I think it's because I try and put in too many things at once so I will work on that in the upcoming seasons but Yes, did finish it off. I have two mini body creams. I have Love Cotton Candy Champagne, which was unused when I put it in the project in the beginning of February. I took it on a trip with me to Colorado and it was super cold there, so this was actually perfect. And the scent is amazing. It's just like a beautiful, like, berry cotton candy scent. It was very nice. And then Hot Cocoa and Cream, which I was almost done with in the last project, and I did finish it off. Really good scent. I enjoy it in minis, but I don't think I'd ever buy it in the full size. I feel like I'd get sick of it too quick. I did finish off the two hand creams that I was pretty much close to finishing off last time. Mary Cookie, which was really nice and yummy, and Sweet Whiskey, which I also enjoyed. So those two are finished. And the thing that I am most excited about finishing off is my Victoria's Secret Tees Heartbreaker Perfume. I will show you guys how many months it took me to finish this. So we have one month, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's completely finished. I actually finished it off like two days ago and was so excited. Um, so yeah, roller balls take me about seven months. Honestly, this month, um, I think I was just like super sick and I didn't wanna be using fragrance that month. So it should really only take me like six months to finish off a roller ball. <laughs> so yeah, but I finished that one off. Very exciting. Um, I enjoyed this fragrance a lot. I would get it in a full size, it's like slightly fruity, but still perfumey, which I liked because I don't like florals, um, but really good scent. I would definitely get it in a full size. Okay, next we're gonna get into the things that I am taking out of the project. So they were in the winter, but I don't wanna carry them over to the spring. Okay, starting off with Fine Fragrance Mist, I have Coconut Mint Drop. Yes, I love this, but I really only love it for the winter time. So here's the progress that I made in the last couple of weeks. Just a little bit because I really wasn't feeling it anymore. So I am taking it out of the project. Also Whipped Dream from Victoria's Secret Pink. I did use it a little bit more in the last couple of weeks, um, but I am taking it out because I want to put in some new spring fragrances. And then the last uh, fine fragrance mist that I'm taking out is Velvet Sugar. I only had this in for the past couple of weeks. I just put it in the project, but I used it. I'm good. I don't really need to keep going because I want to put in something new. And then this is another product that I'm taking out, Winterberry Wonder Body Butter. I really only use the body butters when it's cold outside. I am gonna keep it. I have a little like um, 
self-care cart over here. I am gonna keep it in the cart in case it is cold again and I wanna use it, but it's not cold right now and I don't wanna use it, so I'm gonna take it out of the project, but I did get a lot of progress since the last time you guys saw it. Um, so last time you saw it, it was about halfway used and I did hit pan, if you can tell, and a little bit more. So I'm about a third, I have about a third left of this, so I definitely will finish it uh, by the next time winter comes around. So that's that on that one. Now let's update on the ones that I am still using and keeping in the project. The first one being Christmas cookies, mainly because I'm worried about this going bad. So this is my oldest body cream that I own. I did get a lot of progress on it in the last couple of weeks. So that's pretty good. I'll continue using this one up though, because I'm just scared of it going bad. We have a special guest join us. You can't see him. But Kai begged to come in, so he's on the bed. Anyways, um, where did I leave off? Okay, stuff that I'm keeping in the project. So another thing I'm keeping in is the strawberry pound cake lotion. I honestly have the tiniest bit left. I'm gonna work on finishing this up this week, like I need to finish it. Another thing that I'm gonna work on finishing this week is the Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Roll uh, little mini lotion. I did finish it off like halfway, but I'm gonna really focus on finishing those two lotions. So I'm done with them. Um, Another thing I'm keeping in is the Winter Candy Apple Shower Gel, even though it's definitely not seasonal. I am gonna try and finish it because I honestly don't have that much left and look at the progress from last time to this time. Really good, so I'm just gonna finish it off this month and be done with it and that way I can finish off a full size shower gel. Another shower gel I'm gonna put in the, uh, or leave in the project is Hibiscus Paradise. This one I did take with me to Colorado uh, used it about this much, didn't use it too much, um, but I am going to keep it in the project because it's a good like intro into spring and summer and if I don't feel like using winter candy apple I can use this, um, but I will focus on these two to finish them up this month. I want to get them out of my collection. Um, the next thing that I'm also going to keep in and focus on using up like heavily is Warm and Cozy from Pink. This one will not be hard to use up because it is one of my favorites. It is probably my favorite um, body spray from Victoria's Secret Pink. Um, here's the progress since the last time I updated you guys. If I focus on this one, I can definitely have it finished up real quick. It's such a good, simple scent. I definitely will miss it when it's gone, but I could totally finish it off super easy. Oh, I did forget. I am going to take off uh, Peppermint Essential Oil Aromatherapy Hand Lotion. Really just lotion lotion. I'm going to take this out of the project. I have this just like sitting next to my hand soap. So I use it when I use it, but I don't use it too much. So I'm not gonna leave it in the project, but I'm still gonna leave it at my sink and try to finish it that way. But just not gonna like update you guys because I have not been using it that much. Just like every now and then after I wash my hands. So another thing that I'm keeping in the project is the uh, Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. This one I did finish or I did continue using it. So I do have a little bit of progress right there and I do really like it. Um, I definitely could have it finished up soon if I keep focusing on it, but I use this maybe a couple times a week. It's just like a very gentle body scrub. Um, the other body scrub that I'm leaving in the project is the Onyx Bathhouse Dim Buns Dough body scrub, also foaming. This one, however, is super, super, super coarse. Um, so I only use it like once or twice a week whenever I shave, it smells, just like straight up cinnamon, like a cinnamon stick. But I did get a lot of use out of it in the last couple of weeks. Um, I only had used it once when I put in the project. And now uh, we're about like right here. Yeah, so, um, and for reference, this was $5.99 from TJ Maxx. Okay, now let's get into the exciting stuff. This is gonna be the new stuff for spring that I'm putting in. So the first thing I will start off with are some hand lotions. I am putting in Whipped Berry Meringue, which honestly I have already been using. Um, so this won't take me too long to use up, but uh, this one just tastes, not tastes, it smells really yummy, like a little sweet baked dessert. It's really nice. Um, and I think I will have it finished up pretty quickly. And then I am putting in Strawberry Pound Cake unused and we'll see how this one goes. Um, I did forget to mention the Love Cotton Candy Champagne hand lotion. I'm still using it up. I have a little bit of progress on it, 
uh, but I'm gonna keep it in the project, just continue using that up. And then another new thing to the project is the Winter Wishes perfume from Mary Kay. This is like super old. Probably I've had this since like high school. Look at the poor packaging is like all worn down and you can barely read what it says, but I am putting it in the project because I figured out I can use up rollerballs pretty quickly. Um, so I should have this used up in three or four months. Um, here is where it is right now. This scent is really nostalgic for me. It's, um, I don't even know how to describe it. I would say it does have like a cashmere scent to it, but it's very nice and warm and comforting. So I think I'll actually really enjoy using this. Okay, the next thing I'm introducing is the Whipped Vanilla Chiffon Body Lotion. And this one is right about here. So once I finish off um, strawberry pound cake and ice cinnamon rolls, I will focus on Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. Um, so I'm gonna keep this one as like on the back burner, ready whenever I need it. But yeah, is this one supposed to be shimmery? Because it definitely looks shimmery in the bottle. I don't know, you tell me. You probably can't see it, but I can. <laughs> I don't know, that was weird. But yeah, it's a good scent for springtime. Just like a gentle, a little bit floral um, vanilla scent. The scent notes are wild vanilla bean, sponge sugar, and white peach blossom. White peach blossom, that's the slightly floral scent to it. Really nice. And to go with that, I am also putting in the Whip Vanilla Chiffon Fine Fragrance Mist. I will go ahead and mark where this one is at. Oh, I already marked it, look at me. Um, so it is right about here. I have had it in previous project projects, but it's right about here. I do want to get some good use on this, hopefully to be in like the middle of the label maybe. Halfway would be great, um, but this is a great scent to intro into spring and summer. It's just like a nice, simple vanilla, sugary, but like slightly floral scent. So that one I'm super excited about using. The next one I'm putting in is Champagne Toast. This one I'm actually really excited about because I am feeling fruity scents right now. So I think I'm gonna get some good use out of this one. It doesn't have the scent notes on here, but it is a really good scent. Just super simple, like champagne berries. Really good scent. Um, this is where it's at for now. Pretty much at the top. <laughs> so I wanna get a lot of use out of this one, but of course I will be focusing on this one first and then the other two. And the last thing I'm putting in is Twinkling Nights. I do usually like to keep in like a more sophisticated scent at all times because in case I wanna go out or I wanna feel nice or dress up, um, then I'll put on one of these kind of scents. But this is Twinkling Nights, honestly gorgeous packaging. Um, I did not mark where I'm at on here. I am right at the top of this like white line. The scent notes are Frosted Jasmine Petals, Whip Vanilla, and Mandarin Blossom. This one, so yummy. The, the um, description is, never miss a moment to make a wish under the twinkling night sky. This one's a really good scent, just floral enough to where it's not giving me a headache. So I really enjoyed that about it, but yeah, happy to have this one in here because I've honestly been craving it lately. And that's the reason why I wanted to take out Velvet Sugar and put in Twinkling Nights because I just wanted to give in to my craving to use this a lot. Okay, so that's everything for the Spring Project Use It Up introduction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what are you looking forward to most now that spring is coming up. I am really looking forward to using the more like fruity scents. I can't wait to be done with my winter candy apple shower gel so I can put in some nice fruity shower gel and start using that up. But yeah, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.